In this video, I'm gonna do a review and walkthrough of Wibbit. I'll take you inside the Wibbit Studio, I'll show you how simple it is to use, then I'll talk about pricing options. I'll go over my pros and cons, and lastly, I'll give you my final thoughts about this video creation software. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. So what is Wibbit? Wibbit was founded in 2011 and is an enterprise grade video creation software that has helped large companies like AT&T, American Express, Bloomberg, USA Today, and Reuters, among others, to produce video content at scale for their website and social media properties. And we all know in today's world of marketing, having a solid online presence and having content that can actively engage with your audience is so important. So how does this apply to you? Well, Wibbits is in the middle of launching a lower tier self-service platform aimed at helping small businesses, content creators, and entrepreneurs to create professional quality short form videos without breaking the bank, without outsourcing this task, but still do it in a variety of ways. And the pricing, which I'll go over later on in this video, is reflective of that. So who is this software made for? The Wibbits self-service platform is available today for practically any type of business. From the solo creator, to the blogger, to the content creator, the agency, and the freelancer. The goal of Wibbits is to take something that is traditionally difficult to do, like video editing, and make it very simple, but at the same time, maintain that balance between simplicity and complexity. Folks, this is not the typical Warrior Plus, JVZoo, or ClickBank cheap and cheerful software that I normally review. This software is made for those who are looking to get serious about their content creation. This software is definitely not for tire kickers or shiny object seekers. So let's dive into the Wibbits Studio so you can see how simple it is to create a video. I'm currently on the business plan and I'll go over the different plans in the next part of this video. All right, so when you first log into Wibbits, this is what you're gonna see. This is your dashboard. So down below here is where all of your projects are going to reside. So whether you've completed it or whether it's in draft format, you'll be able to access everything down here. In the upper right-hand corner, this drop-down menu brings up your account information and this link right here, which says Manage My Brand Kit. Now here in a brand kit, you can you can add your custom logo, your corner logo, your intro and outro logo, as well as your color palette. You can even upload a font or multiple fonts depending on the plan that you're on. So a lot of the things I'm talking about relate to the business plan that I'm on. If you're on a lower plan, there are gonna be some features that are not available to you. And obviously because I'm on the business plan and I'm not on a higher tier plan, there are gonna be some features that are, are not available to me as well. But this, Brand Kit makes it very easy when you're creating videos because it's gonna remember your colors, it's gonna drop your logo in automatically, and it just makes the content creation process a little bit smoother. This question mark right here, when you click on this, will bring up the Wibbits Help Center. This is where you're gonna find uh, articles and videos on how to use Wibbits. So go through this when you have time. I would suggest you, you start right here on the Getting Started help article and this five minute video tutorial will, will pretty much walk you through how to use Wibbit. It's very simple to do. Now in the dashboard here, there are gonna be several ways that you can create videos. So you can create one from scratch. You can utilize one of their templates. So you can, you can scan through these templates right here or you can go through their library right here. Now these templates are here to provide you with inspiration. So all you have to do is hover over each one so that you can see what it looks like. All right, now let's go back home right here. And the third way to create a video would be through the Top Story Video Library. Now I don't have access to the Top Story Video Library. That is part of the team plan. But the Top Story videos are created by the Wibbits creation team. And this these creators create daily content that you can upload to your social media, uh, social media, properties as well as your website. And these, these videos can be customized with your logo and your brand colors. So it's very convenient and allows you to constantly be uh, showcasing content and engaging with your audience. Now, we're gonna just create one from scratch. I just wanna show you how simple it is. So we're just gonna click on that button and we're gonna pick a format for our video. So there are three formats that you can choose from, landscape, square, or vertical. And just because you choose one of these doesn't mean that you 
have to redo it if you want to choose another format, okay? Because Wibbits will automatically change it for you if you so choose. So after I create one in a square format, if I wanna create one for landscape, Wibbits will do all the formatting for me. They'll do all the heavy lifting, which makes video creation so much easier. So let's start off with the square format here. And now we're gonna choose a style. So you can see they've got a lot of different styles to choose from. And I'm gonna choose something very simple. I'm gonna just create a quote and I'm just gonna choose this inspirational template here just because I'm gonna be creating an inspirational quote. So we'll click on that and Wibbits will load this for me. And as you can see right here, I have a scene which corresponds to the storyboard. If I wanna add more scenes, I can click on this button right here or down right here. But before we get started, we're just gonna give this a name. I'm gonna create a Tony Robbins quote so I'm just gonna call it Tony Robbins for reference. And the scenes that I'm gonna have are gonna be two scenes, they're gonna be very, very simple. The first scene, I'm just gonna call it inspirational quote of the day. And then the second one is where I'm going to add in the Tony Robbins quote. So here's a quote right here. I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna drop it in here. So that is my quote. So I'm just gonna have two scenes because I just wanna show you how simple this is. So we're gonna go back to scene number one right here. And I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna change the scene layout. So this is gonna be kind of like my title scene. So I'm gonna use something that's very centered and very simple. And I like this one right here, the text card. So I'm just gonna drop it right here. Okay, and so you can see it automatically changes it in real time so you can see what it looks like when I hover over it. You can also see how how it how it works. So if I hover over that, you can see. Now, if I want to customize this further, I can. So let's go ahead and let's customize this further. So this edit text icon right here. If I click on this, this opens up the, the particular scene, and now I'm editing this piece of text. So right now, this this scene is five seconds. I can drop it down, or I can increase it if I want to. I'm going to just drop this down to about three seconds. I also wanna change the style. So I'm gonna click on style. And you can see there's a bunch of different styles to choose from. So you can, again, hover over and you can see what each style does. I'm just gonna choose something very, very simple. I'm just gonna go with the shutter. And you can see that's how it works. Okay, very simple. Now, if I go to this selection right here, I can change the font. So you have access to all these different fonts. You can choose the one that you like the most. I'm gonna leave that there as is. I can also choose the size. So this is at 110 points. I'm just gonna leave it as is again because it looks good. And then when I get to the color, this is where I can change the text color and I can change the background color. So I can do that if I want to. So for instance, if I wanna change the background color right now, these are my brand colors, black and white. So of course it's gonna choose one of the two. If I wanna change it to red, I can change it to red. I can change it to yellow if I want to. I'm just gonna leave it as my brand colors and just leave it as white. Now, the, when you click on this selection right here, you can choose between uppercase and lowercase as well as the position of this text. So I can move the text around if I want to. But I'm gonna leave it right smack dab in the middle just because it is the title again of my video. And right here, I can, I can highlight specific words if I want to. Now, now that I've selected that, I want to go ahead and I want to also change this media. I want to add some media back here because right now the background is just this kind of like this gray, grayish black background. So all I have to do is either click on this area right here, the background, or I can choose the media by doing this, by clicking on media. So let's click on that. And now I have access to the library. I can upload my own media if I want to. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose between images and videos. I can choose specific images, videos, or GIFs. So I'm gonna go with videos, and I want something that's inspirational, so I'm gonna type in inspirational. And we're gonna choose something from the library. So let's go ahead and scan this. This looks really nice, so I'm gonna just drag and drop it in here, and you can see that the, it drops, drops in automatically and it looks nice. So I'm gonna just choose that and this is gonna be my background. Now, if I want to edit this, because you can see it's a little bit bright back here and it's hard to see, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the media filters right here. So when I click on that, I can I can choose from a bunch of different filters. When I click on darken, it darkens it. If I click on blur, I can do that as well too. I can choose tint. So there's a bunch of different ones here that I can choose from. I like darken or blur, so I can choose from one of the two. I'm actually going to choose blur. I like that. And I can I can increase the intensity of the blur if I want to, or I can decrease it. So I'm just going to put it back down about 15%. That looks good. So now this is the quote. Okay, this is the next scene of my of my video. You, you can always see it by going back to your storyboard. Now, in this particular scene, I want to change the uh, the positioning right here. This is a quote. So I'm going to be able to change the scene layout and I'm going to choose quote because they have they have a scene layout that is specific for quote. And you can see that it's right smack dab in the middle, but also there's a place right here for quotee. Okay. And I want to add in Tony Robbins name because he's the one who is the quotee. So that's where I change it right there. This is the text right here. You can see, so you can see if I toggle, so you can see it's 38 points When I click over here, it's 90 and the font changes as well. So I can change different aspects of this. Again, I can change the length of this of this scene. In fact, I'm going to drop this down because the first scene I believe was three seconds. So I'm going to go with seven seconds. I'll go with six seconds. So it'll be under 10 seconds total. I can also adjust the style so I can choose how this this quote appears. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at different ones. So there's a frame right here. And let's go ahead and choose one. I, I'm going to choose shutter again because that was what I had on the first scene. So we'll choose that. You can see what that looks like. It looks very, very nice. And again, I can choose the font. I can choose the size. I'm going to keep the size the way it is. But if you wanted to lower it, all you have to do is just scroll and you can choose what you want. In fact, you know what? Let's just lower it. Let's drop it down. Let's go to 70 point. And I can also choose the color. So I can choose the text color as well as a background color. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to keep the, the, the case as all uppercase. I'm going to change the position though because I'm going to add a photo or a video in here, whatever I find of Tony Robbins. So I'm going to just drop this down below right here so it doesn't interfere with anything here. So now the background. So I could have either done that or I could have clicked on media. Totally up to you. But I'm going to type in and I'm going to choose Tony Robbins. And right here, I'm going to choose, instead of creative, I'm going to choose editorial because this relates to news content which showcases real people and real events. Okay, If you hover over these, you can see what each one represents. So I'm going to stick with editorial and we'll see what we come up with. So in terms of video, this is what we have. Not very much. I want to see what else we have in terms of images. See if I can find a better one. And I see one right here. So I'm going to take this one. I want to drag it and I'm going to drop it on here. And it looks like it, it fits very well. Again, I can't really see it too well just because of the white. It's a little washed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter. Okay, so here it is. And I'm going to choose a filter. I can darken this a little bit. So now I can see it a little bit better and I can decrease the intensity if I want a little bit. So that looks good. So you can recognize that there's Tony Robbins right there and I'm gonna, I can actually read the quote so that looks good. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And again, if you have any image credits that you need to attribute to a specific photographer, you can add that in there. Now, let's go ahead and check out styles. Now, in here is where you can see the font the, the text color, background color, highlight colors. You can see the style that we're using. You can also see transitions. This is the transition animation that's going to go from one scene to another. So you can see, you can choose between different ones, right? And just by hovering over it, you can see what they look like. Very, they have a varying degree of, of transition. So it's totally up to you what you want to use. In fact, we're just going to go with brushes. So I selected it, but what's going to happen is this won't show up until I actually 
render the video. So when you when you preview it, you're not going to be able to see that, but when you render it, you will. And down here, you're going to notice that I have my logo and it's positioned in the upper right-hand corner. I can change the size of the logo if I want to. I can change the opacity. I can make it much more prominent. Or if I want to put it all the way down to zero, my logo disappears. So I'm going to leave it like that. And here's my intro and outro. I can change the color of the background. So let's go. If you want to use red, you can do that. You can use black. In fact, I'll just use black just like that. And that is my intro and outro or my outro logo right here. Now, for the music, you can utilize their library or you can upload your own. And what I'm going to do is I just uploaded one of my own. So I'm going to use this sound file right here. So it's very easy to upload, but I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to use it. So that is my sound file that I'm going to use. So we can we can play it so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like. If I want to preview my video, all I have to do is click on this button right here. So you can see that that's what the video is going to look like. And right here, they give you this handy little pop-up which says, the final version will include removal of media watermarks, added transitions between scenes, and animation of static images if you decide to do that. Now, if I want to, all I have to do is click on Done. And what will happen is, Wibbits will go and start rendering my video. You can see right here, here's the title of my project. I can also pick a date when I want to plan for this video. So for instance, I can choose to plan this video for the 15th of January if I want to. So you can pick a date and it automatically does that for you. You can see the, the text. I can add a video category if I want to. So let's say we'll call it lifestyle. I can add a tag. So if I want to call this Tony Robbins, I can. So I can find it at any time. And here is English. I can also edit the cover for the video if I want to, and I can make a copy. There's a bunch of different things. If I want to delete it, I can do that as well. I want to show you the planner though. So let's go up here while this video is rendering. Let's, so this planner, I just added this project right here, the, the 15th of January. This allows you to plan videos. So it's very, very helpful when you're putting together your content creation because now you're able to choose the month and you can plan out for months, maybe even for a year, your content. So it makes it very, very convenient. So let's go back to the home and we'll see that right now that Wibbits is still rendering my video and it's gonna be ready in a few minutes. I'm just gonna pause it, pause the video and then we'll restart it when it's done. Okay, so the video is now done. So now let's go ahead because now you can share it for review. There's a link right here that you can share. You can download it. You can add this to your templates. You can make a copy or you can delete it. I'm just gonna download the video. And then now I am able to download this video to my computer and have it available to share on social media. And that's how simple it is to create a video on Wibbits. All right, so let's talk about pricing plans. With Wibbits, you have three options. You have the creator plan, the business plan, and the team plan, and you can choose to get billed either annually or billed monthly, and you can see the differences in pricing. Now, if you go with the annual billing option, you save 30%. Now, with each plan, there are differences in the features that you get. With the creator plan, you get 10 videos per month, one user and you have access to stock photos and videos. You can also upload your logo and you have access to their video templates library. This will make it easier for you when it comes to getting ideas on when you're ready to create your content. Now, if you upgrade to the business plan, you get double the amount of videos. So you get 20 videos per month. You have two users. You have access to premium photos and videos. And you also remove the Wibbits branding. Now, if you have the creator plan, at the end of your video, Wibbits will place an outro that says powered by Wibbits. 
Now, if you upgrade to the business plan, you eliminate that branding. You also get one custom font and a watermark that you can use on your videos. With the premium photos and videos, that's 210 million plus premium photos and videos. Now with the team plan, the team plan gives you unlimited videos. You have five users because obviously this is a team plan and you have access to the Getty Media Library. So you have everything in the business plan plus you get live chat support as well as this feature right here, the top story, top story video library. And what this is, is uh, it's top stories, top news stories that are being created by the Wibbits content creators. So these stories are available for you. They're updated daily and you can take these stories and brand them with your logo and your color scheme. And you can post these on your social media, uh, properties as well as your website. Now, if you need to get a more detailed comparison, all you have to do is click on this link right here, which will take you to a comparison chart and you can see the differences between the three plans. Now, Wibbits also, when you're ready, has a seven day free trial and you can sign up for your free trial. Give Wibbits a test drive. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. First, the pros. Wibbits is clearly simple to use. You can make a professional 1080p video quickly with access to their library of licensed video and image assets as well as music tracks. And as you saw, customization is simple as well. You can add in your own images and your own video clips. It's affordable to get started. It's only $10 per month if you pay annually and $15 per month if you pay monthly. You get a lifetime license for the videos you create and you also get full commercial and resale rights, which is a plus if you plan on starting your own agency or if you want to become a freelancer. Now the bottom line is this is an evergreen software. Their heritage is enterprise based, so their software can meet the demands of the serious content creators. Wibbis does one thing and they do it well. They've been around for 10 years and there doesn't seem to be any sign of them slowing down anytime soon. And now the cons. While the creator plan is extremely affordable, if you want to move to the next tier, the business plan, it can be a sizable jump in price. Now granted, you get more features with the business plan, so you have to take that into consideration when making your decision. And the creator plan adds a Powered by Wibbits outro, which I know some of you might not like. So what are my final thoughts? Well. Wibbits takes their video creation software platform, usually reserved for big enterprise organizations, and brings it to the masses. This opens up a tremendous opportunity for entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, content creators, bloggers, and freelancers to produce high quality, professional looking short form videos. You saw how simple it was to make a video. And Wibbits is a company that has been and will be around for a long time. Wibbits is a real software solution and not some fly-by-night software that you pick up at a one-time cost. And you guys know which ones I'm talking about. Is it for everyone? Absolutely not. But if you're looking to add videos to your existing content creation strategy or wanna take your current video creation to the next level, you might wanna give Wibbits a good look. So there you have it, my review and walkthrough of Wibbits. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Lastly, if you're looking to start your online business following an effective step-by-step -step proven training, then click on the link below to check out my number one recommendation for starting your online business today. This is Ken Furukawa from KenFurukawa.com and I'll see you in my next video.